Today, cyber criminals are using more advanced techniques than ever before. Bad actors use various forms of social engineering or skilled manipulation to steal information, money, and identities. You've probably heard about phishing, but do you know about vishing or smishing? Phishing attempts are typically fraudulent emails received via personal and work email. Here is an overview of two similar methods of criminal solicitation. Texting is one of the most popular methods of communication, making it an attractive vehicle for cybercrime. If made via text message on a mobile device or SMS, deceptive efforts to gain personal information are called smishing. Smishing scams try to trick users into clicking on links or replying with sensitive information. Often, cyber criminals will pretend to contact you from a known entity, such as your bank or a favorite e-commerce site. Messages can seem urgent, claiming there is something wrong with your account that you need to address as soon as possible. This sense of urgency is a tactic designed to encourage you to act quickly before you have time to realize the request is a scam. Fraudulent solicitations that take place by phone or voicemail are called vishing. These calls often claim to represent trusted organizations, including your employer, banks, or even loved ones. Attackers will frequently spoof or appear to be calling from local phone numbers to encourage users to answer calls or return voicemail messages and provide sensitive information. Statistics indicate that older adults can be more vulnerable to this type of social engineering. Follow these simple practices to help recognize these attacks and protect your sensitive personal and business information. Always verify the identity of the sender and the authenticity of the message you receive. Does the text contain multiple misspellings? Does the voicemail contain an urgent request with vague information? Or is it from a generic company name like Card Services? Is the text or voicemail from an unrecognized number? These can all be signs of a scam. Never click on any links in a suspicious text and don't respond even to text stop to end messages. Never return calls to telephone numbers provided in a suspicious voicemail. If you think the message might be from a known organization, obtain their contact information from a trusted source, such as the back of your bank card or the company's verified website. Never provide sensitive personal or business information over the phone or online to an unsolicited request. Always review and update the privacy settings of your online accounts and be careful of the information you share on social media. Always delete suspicious texts and block questionable numbers. Report smishing and vishing attempts as necessary. For more cybersecurity awareness information, please visit the New York State Office of Information Technology Services website.